When using an SD card, make sure the metal contacts are pointed towards the center of the unit. Also make sure you have six AA alkaline batteries installed. Just below that you'll find your serial number. When you turn the unit on, look here for the firmware version that your unit is operating with. Also when the unit is turned on, it displays the last series that was used. You can scroll up and down through the various series by using the arrow buttons. You will see the statistics for each series. While in a series, you can push the enter button to see all the data from each individual shot. You can scroll up and down to see all the shots within that series. To return to the series, push the enter button. To change the settings, press the preference menu button and scroll to the item you wish to change. Press the enter button to see your choices. Scroll to your choice and again press enter. You can then press the Preferences menu button to return to the Series menu. If you wish to create a new series, push the Series button. Confirm that you do want to create a new series by pressing the Enter button. You will now see that you have no data in your new series. It also shows that you have chosen your velocity to be measured in feet per second and the distance in yards. You cannot add any shots to the previous series. If you wish to delete a series, press the delete button and confirm that you want to delete the series. When you are ready to arm your lab radar, press the armed button one time to switch from the series view to the armed view. Press the armed button one more time to arm the radar. You will see the blue light change to orange indicating that it is waiting for your shot so it can record it. If no shot is taken, or you have completed firing, the orange light will start to flash 10 seconds before the selected arm time has expired. The light will then turn blue. You can then arm or disarm the radar by manually pushing the armed button. To return to the series view, press and hold the arm button for 2 to 3 seconds. You will see the screen change. You can now make changes in the preferences menu, start a new series, or delete a series. Under the right rubber cover is a micro USB port for supplying external power or downloading data from the SD card to your computer. There is also a 3.5 millimeter connection for an external trigger such as the air gun trigger or the archery trigger adapter. From the series view, if you press the armed button one time, it'll take you to the armed view. By pressing the display button one time, it'll take you to the screen that displays your muzzle velocity, your kinetic energy, and your power factor. By pressing the display button one more time, it'll give you your kinetic energy at muzzle, plus at the downrange distances that you previously selected. It also gives you the power factor. Both these calculations are based upon the projectile weight that you entered prior to the shot. If you press the display button one more time, it takes you back to the original armed view.